So oh. my uh, ex-boyfriend, he was from Brazil, and he told me he speaks Spanish. And I was like, well, if I'm going to learn surprise in Portuguese and Spanish, I'm going to learn Spanish because it's, I feel like it was would be useful more. So six months later, I learned Spanish, about 2,000 words, and I started speaking to him in Spanish. He's like, oh, my God, I was trying to impress you. I only speak Portuguese. Oh, no. Shit. All right, and we are back now with beautiful, beautiful artist Radmila Loli. Welcome Thank to the you. zoo. Now, you're also a designer. Let's see what you're wearing. Okay. Let's make sure we don't step on Vueltecita, this. Vueltecita, vueltecita. Oh, cool. We have a cake. Did you design this? Yes, I have. Wow. Okay, you know what? I've never done this before, but I'm going to give you my chair. Are you so sure? You get, yes, so you, you get sure? to sit. Don't yes. even question it. I say you just take it. Yes. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Ra Radmila Loli. Now, is that a Russian name? Radmila is actually not a Russian name. Uh, my mom named me after her girlfriend. It's actually Yugoslavian, I think. Okay. But I am Russian. What part of Russia are you from? Um, my my family is from Siberia, but I'm more like Moscow area. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And okay, so here's the thing about because I have Russian friends. So I I, I told her dos vidanya, which means goodbye. I thought I would meant thank you. Spasivas, Spasivas thank you. Spasivas, thank you. Now <laughs> niet is no. And da is yes. Yes. Why is it that I hear Russians say niet way more often than they ever say da? Because it's, yes, yes, that's yes, what yes, they, yes. they don't want to say yes to anything. I know. <laughs> niet, exactly. niet, 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 da. Yeah. Niet, 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 da. Like, if, if it's exactly. da, it's like we're locked in. Exactly. Um, have you heard her music? Oh, yes. It's amazing. I'm just like so impressed because we were uh -huh. just talking about how. You know, you don't want to be boxed into like, what are you, a singer, a designer, or a songwriter, or... Tell us about this fusion of art that you've made, because I feel that you're one of those people, like, you walk your art, which is beautiful. Thank you. Like, you're doing something with your music, but then you're also wearing it. So oh, it's yes. just like, how is that even possible? <laughs> Thank you. So... But I feel like music and and uh, art, it's just art to me because when I compose music or when I sing music, it's all about the textures, the colors, the composition. Mm -hmm. The same thing when it comes to sketching a, a, a piece or when I draw, to me it's the same thing. And when I hear uh, music, I see the colors of a gown or when I draw a gown I will, or pieces, I hear the music. So it's to me it's just wow. one thing. It's no, like yeah. Waski. But I mean, <laughs> even more than the music, what I notice is your voice. Oh, your oh. Sorry, Sorry. Have a mic problem. Okay. Mine? Yeah, just try to move your hair out. Okay. Ah, there we go. Here. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Where can we pick it up from? Let's pick it up in camera three. Okay. Over there. Three. Uh, five, okay, I'll four, pick it up three, two. So, I mean, I think even more than noticing your music, I, which, which is amazing, is your voice. You are, uh, you know, a singer. Uh, you, did you sing in the opera? How, how are you classically trained? I'm classically trained. Okay. I'm classically trained, but I was just never. I, I respect opera and I love. It was just not wasn't in my path. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I want to tell story, my story through my music and my compositions. Um, like I said, I, I respect uh, classical composers, but that's not my story. I want to tell stories through my music. Now, you make a point to, to show your range in your songs. Like, <laughs> you know, is, is, it's like, hey, look, some of you people are like singing rock and roll and you're not good singers, you're just like screaming. I, let me show you how to sing. I didn't say that, you did. I, know, I said it, I said it. But when you go to that range, I think that a lot of people are like, oh, okay, this is a different kind of, this is a virtuoso singer, this is... I mean, I can get those C's in, yeah. Um, I mean, yes, I do sing in different range, but I do have a comfortable range too, because um, I believe we're all born with a certain mathematics in our throat that we can, everybody's different. I have a bad voice So though. you can basically teach all of us right now how to sing. Uh, <laughs> so, no, no, actually a lot of people can be trained, yes. People yeah. don't realize, but it's a lot, I mean, it's discipline like anything, but if you do a lot of ear training and, a lot of people, not everybody will have the same tone, obviously, it's a different color of voice, but yeah, a lot of Wait, people are you a singer? I mean, I don't know, I feel like you would have to tell me about no, singing. I love no. singing, but I've yeah. never really been professionally trained. I kind of just go by ear. Somebody will tell me something and I'm like, okay, I can hit that note. I'm but gonna... sometimes that's the best too, you know what I mean? When you know too many rules, people get scared to break them. And I think it's important to know the rules. I'm not saying you should not know mm -hmm. the rules. But sometimes it depends how you are. Everybody's different. Some people sing from their soul. You don't have to go to classical school, in my opinion, to be a good singer. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's different. Yeah, at the and end, art, it's about flowing. Yeah. You know? and yeah. letting it and so, come yeah. through you in a way. And you're also a writer, right? Yeah. You're writing like a novel or there's something there? Well, Tell yes, us about it's that. about 500 pages. As um, we speak, it's getting edited. So the future of this, again, I'm not going to say now, oh, I'm a 
I'm going to write books. This is something I wanted to write the story for a long time. It's been in the works for six years now. Uh -huh. So what I do is I compose the whole album is based on the story of the book, and it's going to be all the book. With so when you be able to hear the the book, and then you will hear the soundtracks. Are you going to read the book in the audio book? Uh, what I'm doing is I'm hiring voiceovers. So each character going to have its own voice, uh -huh. and I am going to be the main character because she has a Russian roots. So I will have to, you know. But so yes, one of the voiceovers uh, that's going to be me. But everybody else. Now. Where did this inspiration wow. come from? Where was this idea? You know, I just, um, the way I see, the way I imagine, my life is, the way <laughs> things come in my life is that I just see them and I can't explain what they are it's just in front of my, so I had the story in my head, like this woman was living through me. It was just kind of, not through me, but this character. So I would start writing it and it just start coming together and the music based on the story was coming together again. So it's a novel? Yeah, it's a novel. It's based in 1928 through 1970s. It's a, it's a very serious, it's kind of sad, but it has a lot of happy moments, but it is sad. Very Russian. You know? Very Russian. <laughs> very the Russian, Russian soul is a very, yeah. very very sad soul. Yes. <laughs> Russians have been through a lot Just of history. <laughs> um, but it's um, definitely, I don't like to talk about myself, uh, good or bad. I, I like to have people and the uh, reaction what I've got from people are very strong. So I'm very happy about it. And uh, I can't wait to share it. I already have a couple of interests from uh, different publishing um, and also from, it could be a movie after the book. Wow. But we will talk about it in about a year. And this is okay, like, this is a very that. special, like, again, I, I think of you and I see fusion. It's like a fusion of things, you know? It's a fusion of different things. And even your novel that you're talking about is going to be audible. Yeah. But then having the soundtracks there, so there's going to be music. It's going to be not interactive, but it's going to be a lot going on. Yes. As opposed to like a regular audiobook. Yes. And that's also part of your exactly. touch on exactly. things. That's I beautiful. like to... Uh, Yes, I like to add my own touches to it. Yeah. And um, that's just how I am. And, you know, I always... Um, before I was very scared to not play by the, the rules or whatever. And now I just, you know, be, 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 beauty is, art is a beauty. It's endless. So whatever mm -hmm. you can express yourself in any ways, everybody should do it. I believe everyone has an amazing talent yeah. that maybe they don't know about and they should um, in sync with themselves. I really believe in that. So was this like yes. part of like, sorry, it's because I'm no, sorry. No. Like, <laughs> so um, your mom was a painter. Yes. And then your grandma was like a seamstress. seamstress. Uh, so do you got like... Did you yeah, get all so of this from them? Unfortunately, my grandmother passed away when I was really young, so I didn't really get a chance to. But we did have a sewing machine. My mama showed me how to sew and everything. So, I mean, I don't uh, sew my gowns now for my shows, but I have obviously uh, people that, but I do know how to make it. And when something doesn't go right, I know exactly how to do it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> we're going to go to a commercial break, but we're going to be right back, all right? So stick around because we have more with Radmila. Did I say Rally. Rally. Okay, perfect. Radmila stick Rally. To the zoo. <laughs> Back with Radmila. <laughs> Lolly. Awesome. Um, I was watching the video uh, where you're kind of like disappearing and then uh, showing up and walking through different cityscapes. And, 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 and I, I, I'm sorry, I forget the name of the Vampire? Uh, yes. <laughs> Tell me about that song. How, uh, what, 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 how did it, it come about? It inspired me 12 years ago, and I wanted to write this story about the way I write my the Wonderland album is based on trilogies. So each song has a, so you have to listen to three songs to understand the full story. And uh, it's a three songs, one pie one, one pie two, one pie three, but it has different names to it. And so it's starting from the first one, Vampiro One, I think you're referring to, um, where she is coldless, heartless vampire, where she needs to find the victim and then just kind of kill him with her voice. I'm so down to die tonight <laughs> in case you want to, you know. <laughs> Sing a song to yeah. me. Many, many, many broken hearts. Oh, That's nice, nice. Uh, the second song uh, on that trilogy is basically she is met somebody, but she kind of falls in for them, but her nature takes over and she just can't help it. She's a vampire. Okay. And the third song, she decides why, why live life if you can't love. And she gives up her life for this man. Wow! So that's kind of the. But when you mean give up her life, she has to die because she's a vampire. So again. she has to die. So every it's so, Russian again. Someone has to die. Yes. Either she victimizes someone else or she dies. <laughs> can, can there be one song where everybody lives? Ruskies, man, Ruskies. <laughs> it's always got to 
be three because Ruskis, they have your like Trotsky, you know, they all uh, a thousand page books. Like yes. you can't just have a little simple book, no, it has to be three parts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's true, it's true, we have that in us. Da. <laughs> da. 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 Okay, and let's guess her sign. What do you, what do you think she is? Mm, a Scorpio like me. Okay. All right. Okay. Sagittarius. I'm gonna say, I'm going with you, Scorpio or Sagittarius. What, so what do I have to answer? Because I'm neither of them. You're a Capricorn, aren't you? No. You're, You're a Libra. A Pisces. You're a Leo. No. You're a Leo. You're not an and Aries Aquarius. like me. You're an Aries like no. me. Pisces. I don't even know are there more. No, I hate telling <laughs> people, yeah, I hate telling uh, people that they're a Cancer. Well, no, yeah. I'm not. Gemini. No. Virgo. No. Tauro. Tauro. Of course. <laughs> of course. How can we I never guess? I honestly know nothing of this. I was okay. like, me too. I don't know if your voice is warmed up. You can't, Ed, would you mind just showing us a little bit oh, of that photo? Oh, guys, you didn't tell me about it. Oh, can no, you teach no us? Can you yes, teach us? Yes, how like, do we do what, it? How can I warm up my voice? Oh, oh wow. Nice. Okay. <laughs> is, is that coming from the stomach? Like, where uh, Right now, it's just coming from my throat, but that's not the oh, right way to say. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> and, 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 okay, so let's say if you are going to sing, is there a warm-up practice that yes, you have to do? Or what is that like? Uh, I would say scales, and then uh, it depends what songs I sing. So I do lip trills to those songs, and I do raspberries. Have you heard of raspberries? No, what's that? It's like you eat a <laughs> things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we have. Um, I feel like I just spit all over my. So I do a <laughs> things like this. <laughs> depends. Depends on the melody, obviously. I just put on the and then the scales. If I have a piano, if I don't, then. It's different. So, so you, you play, you play the piano and other instruments? Yeah, I do. Like what? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you're Just everything. Just for composition purposes. <laughs> no, 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 but I don't want to say like I am, uh, like me, I can go on stage right now and play them, no. But for composition purposes, I understand a lot of instruments, oh, okay. how they work, so when I compose, uh, my musician's not gonna look at the score and be like, how will I play this, you know? So that's, for, for that purposes, I understand a lot of instruments. You know, wow. before, that's amazing. because for us, it's not so much about vocal range, but enunciation. So, you know, one of the exercises that, that I got taught to pronounce your words correctly is to say, before you go out, mm -hmm. go home and get your watermelon. Oh, watermelon. to get your wow. watermelon. Mine was red leather, yellow leather. Oh, okay. It was like a tongue twister, just tongue twisters in general, like red leather, yellow leather. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, you <laughs> That's in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Used to a long time ago. I have a funny story about it, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you a short one. Give me a short so one. my uh, ex-boyfriend, he was from Brazil, and he told me he speaks Spanish. And I was like, well, if I'm going to learn surprise in Portuguese and Spanish, I'm going to learn Spanish because it's, I feel like it was would be useful more. So six months later, I learned Spanish about 2,000 words, and I started speaking to him in Spanish. He's like, oh, my God, I was trying to impress you. I only speak Portuguese. Oh, no. Shit. It was such a waste. <laughs> yeah, so, so you learned Portuguese. Portuguese. I learned Spanish, and he only could speak Portuguese. He's from Brazil. Oh. He lied to me that he wanted to impress me. Said, I speak Italian, Spanish, any, and because Russians always speak like five languages. Well, yeah, and then I was so mad at him. I was like, oh my god, so waste of time, waste of time. And I broke up with him, but anyway. That okay, <laughs> here's the thing: is every, oh, was he tall? Uh, actually, he was my height. How tall are you? Because I'm, I'm just six. Okay. I'm six, but I like to wear heels, and he was a soccer player. So, but anyway, why would I sing that? Because my boyfriend would not like me to soccer player. Oh. No, <laughs> yeah. So I have a question about the clothes and stuff. Just one more. Like, if I would ever have an event and would love to wear something made by you, is there a way? Like, do you like sell it, or do you? Where yeah, can we find yeah. it? Have you ever thought about like teaching people like skills on sewing and stuff or? Yeah, um, I um, actually I'm in talks with a few uh, places where I can uh, do like a uh, show and not showcases. What is it called? Uh, not boot camps, but you know, like this a weekend workshop. workshop. Thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Gotcha, girl. Um, <laughs> Uh, and the same thing with the voices, like some schools. Um, I'm actually based in Miami now, but I'm in Oh, nice. I'm from Miami. Do you oh, have okay. like an online boutique? Or? Yes, I do have an online boutique. Okay. And then also I have a lot of private clients when they want one of a kind pieces because I don't want their neighbor have same yeah. one. Uh, but my goal is I am working on inventory right now. I'm going to be opening a store in Miami. And, nice. Um, Where? Don't know yet, but probably somewhere Brickell, but yeah. I can't name where it is. <laughs> now, there's a lot of Russians in Miami now. But they are in different areas. Yeah, I'm in Twitter and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Brickell. And yeah. where there's can a lot we of Russians find you? Oh, I'm here. On Instagram. Red Miller Lally, yes. And a lot of times people reach out to me on Instagram to buy pieces. And, and we can I do, do that. Of course. Okay, cool. Why okay. do you love capes? Because I see capes in the music videos. I see you wearing a cape today. That's just who I am. Are you a superhero or a supervillain? Maybe. Can you show us what Whoa. you showed me about <laughs> like changing it? Oh, yeah. How yeah. That Let me show you. Because, so guys, you take a look at this beautiful piece. So, so there's the cape. What I like about this, you take the belt off, and then you 
put it right here. And then, ta da da, maybe. Oh my God, that's amazing. It becomes a little bit different. So, not as still out there, but. You're the I, most practical uh, Russian uh, Amazon I've ever met in my life. <laughs> like, you're very, like, you know, kind of like out of this world, but you're also very practical. You're like, look, you do this, and it's perfect. That's it. You know, yeah. it's like, wow, okay. And I like to mix things with a. Like for example, this belt I bought on Amazon for twenty dollars. Uh, you know, so I mean those shoes are Gucci, but anyways. She knows you remind me of, and, and, and not you to get political, but you know who you remind me of, right? Who do you think? I have no idea. Who's the most famous Eastern European beauty in the world right now? I don't know. Oh Melania, my Melania God! Trump. Le, oh. Yeah. Okay. Eva, well, I mean, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I know because you might get in trouble, but don't worry about it. I think it's cool. I think she's beautiful. Sorry, I think Melania Trump is beautiful. I think she is beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. beautiful. You, she yeah, I mean, they have like the, the same. Know, but you they're cut with the same scissors. We say in Spanish. All right, we gotta go, but please check out Radmila. Loli. On the internet, you'll find out all her music and all her beautiful fashions. And when you do the book and then the movie, I want you to come back and talk to us. And you're gonna be the one guest that I let to have my chair. Okay. All right. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.